Brian from Mother Little Prospecting Supplies. Today I'm going to go over the mini concentrator, the two tier system, and show you how it all goes together. Okay, let's just go over what uh, is included in the kit for the two tier mini concentrator. You have your stand, you have a pump mount on the stand, the hardware to mount the pump, and a 500 GPH pump. You have 12 volt battery clips and a hose adapter and four tie, four tie down cords. It also includes a tub, not exactly like this one. It comes with a three foot flex hose and flow control valve. It comes with your riser set, which is two uprights and a cross member. Two support posts for the riser. A small piece of inch and a half hose that uh, fits on the bucket, and you'll see that in a minute. Your lower sluice tray with deep V matting, five riffles, and a skid plate. Your top tier sluice, which uh, also has a deep V matting, five riffles, and a skid plate. It also has your um, inlet for your water and a distribution set there. Also included is a bucket. And you see there's cleats on either side of the bucket and a hose bit. I just mentioned about that. And this is to keep the water in your tub if you're using a small tub. If you're using a bigger tub, it's not really critical. And I always like to put a little bit of water in this because when I'm setting it up, it just makes it a little bit more stable. So I put it in between the hole here, and I'll attach the flex hose to the pump. Get that out of the way. Take one cord and I'll slip it through the, the cleat here, and I'll put the other cord through the other cleat. Take the riser, the two tall ones with the with the ports in it, and then you take your one foot cross member, and you insert that in there like that, and then you insert it in the other side. And then we put them right down into these holes, right down in here, right over top of the bucket. Sometimes you can put, if you have a their hand dredge or whatever, you can put some silicone grease on to make it easier to come put them in and take them out. Now we have our supports. And one end goes into the hole and the other just snaps onto the riser. Just like that. Okay. So now this is all sitting inside the tub. But I, obviously I don't have it in the tub because I want to show you how it, how it all goes together. So we've got two more cords left and just put them aside. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to secure the bottom tier. So it just sits on the rim of the bucket just like that so that the hole discharges into the tub. And you see your holes here. So we'll take one of the cord of our cords and we'll hook it into the holes at the, at the toe of the unit. And this always faces the pump. Okay? So if you're using a two tier, it faces a pump. If you're using it as a single tier, it faces away from the pump. Next, we just have to attach the other cords here. So we've got another cord that actually attaches to the middle of that tier to really make it nice and secure. So the toe of the top tier goes right inside, just sits inside the, uh, the bottom tray. Okay? And, um, and then we just secure it. As you can see, there's a couple of rivets at the top. So we pop one of our hooks inside the little hole that's in that rivet. And we'll crisscross it to the hole in the middle of the, of the top tray. And we'll do the same on the other side. Okay. Now you can see how it's shaping up. Next, put our flow control valve, 
attach it to your your sluice add water to your tub add water to your bucket until you actually get a flow through because you this is a submersible pump you want to make sure that there's enough water in there to run it so it doesn't suck air a little bit of water surfactant like jet dry or some other dishwasher detergent or laundry detergent anything that's not gonna you don't want anything to suds up too much and um, or gold drop and you're basically ready to go and uh, you just connect to your power supply and now you're ready to use it so that's about it as you can see it only takes a minute to put it together and, um, and it's really an effective tool one thing we do recommend though is that you make sure that the tub is level if you make the tub level then the rest of it follows suit and um, we've tested it it works absolutely fabulous and we'll put it up against any other product out there and for the price you can't beat it thanks for watching Thank you.